Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the official presentation of Emerson and then we are going to be moving on towards Ronald Koeman's continuity with FC Barcelona. There is some breaking news regarding this player and our current coach at this very moment. But first, we are going to be talking about Emerson. So as expected, right, everyone was assuming that Emerson was going to become a Barcelona player, which he has. And Barcelona has made it official that Emerson will be joining this club in the 2021 2022 season and looking at the deal that Barcelona has made with Real Betis when they brought Emerson to La Liga there was a deal that Barcelona had to pay Real Betis 9 million euros if they do want to bring in Emerson back into the Camp Nou and let's sit on that just for a second right because this club Barcelona they could have sold Emerson for 22 to 23 million euros we have seen clubs encountering Barcelona and saying we would like to offer this amount of money Barcelona could have done that and yes it is true that Betis were going to get half of of whatever the club had to propose but Barcelona were going to profit off of this player Barcelona could have done that but the fact that Barcelona were willing to reject these offers coming from other clubs for 22 to 23 million euros and then pay Real Betis 9 million euros they do rate this player greatly because you do not simply just pay a total of 9 million euros to Real Betis and reject an offer that was 23 million euros and so for those of you guys who are questioning what about the presentation why did we not see Emerson get the exact same presentation like Eric Garcia and Sergio Aguero. That is because Emerson is in international duty. He is with the national team because on Friday, Brazil is going to be playing against Ecuador. That is going to be a very important match. It is going to be for the World Cup qualifications. And I do assume that Brazil are trying to be prepared because one of the players that they are going to greatly use within the qualifications and the Copa America, it is going to be Emerson. But let's talk about the next season, right? Which is the 2021-2022 season. Let's stick on that season just for a second, right? Because there is is one very important thing to point out when it comes to having Emerson and Serginho Dest onto the next season because these are two right backs that Barcelona is going to be having and I think that when you have two quality right backs knowing that these players are very young knowing that these players have yet to tap their ceiling one of the most important things that the coach is going to have to do it is going to be to get your player management 100% correct because when it does come to our right back options it's not like we have one right back who is 30 years old and then another right back who is 20 years old. These are two players that are extremely young. One is 20 years old, Serginho Dest, and Emerson is 22 years old. These are two players who do need to develop. And most importantly, these are going to be two players who are going to want to play and find those minutes throughout the season. And this is why I do push the agenda of Ronald Koeman considering using Serginho Dest as a left back at times throughout the season because I do think that it would be extremely healthy for a player like Serginho Dest to put pressure on Jordi Alba and get more more minutes when Emerson is playing as a right back and then when there comes a point where Jordi Alba cannot perform at that level that he's supposed to be performing at that is when you can introduce a player like Alejandro Balde and then continue to use a player like Serginho Dest to put pressure on Alejandro Balde or Emerson and so the fact that Serginho Dest is very versatile I do expect Ronald Koeman to actually use it only for the sake of these players like Dest and Emerson to get a good amount of minutes at least 2,000 minutes per season and so once Emerson does come to Barcelona next season. I do not expect Emerson to have the exact same debut season like Serginho Dest because Emerson has spent already a total of two seasons within La Liga. He has the experience. He knows exactly what it's like to play against Sevilla, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, and many other top clubs within the league. Emerson will be coming in prepared. And so the fact that we're going to be having two experienced players like Serginho Dest and Emerson when it comes to playing within La Liga, that is going to be great. Barcelona have massively, massively improved their defensive line but now this is going to transition us towards Ronald Koeman because I did mention earlier in this video that one of the most important things that Koeman is going to have to get right is player management and when it comes to Ronald Koeman having great player management throughout the past season we were discussing how Ronald Koeman player management is not 100% it is not the way that we do want it to be and it has greatly cost Barcelona in terms of results and there has been speculations that Ronald Koeman is going to be continuing with this club which is true we have heard reports of Ronald Koeman continuing with FC Barcelona. Yesterday, Joan Laporta had an interview and was talking to the press and he did say that the negotiations with Koeman is going well and that there is a great understanding on how they do want to display their next Barcelona in the next season. But this is what Xavi Campos had to say about Koeman's continuity, someone who is very close to Barcelona. Barcelona's board is planning on confirming the continuity of Ronald Koeman tomorrow. Koeman has agreed to change a part of his fixed salary into variables. In addition, he 
his new contract will have an option to continue for an additional year if only certain objectives are met. So let's stop right here just for a second, right? Because this changes everything. We Because many of us were assuming that Kumin was going to get sacked and that we're either going to get Ralph Ragnick, Xavi Hernandez, Hansi Flick, Jurgen Klopp, maybe Pochettino, Julian Nagelsmann, and many other coaches. But it does seem like Juan Laporta, Matteo Alemani do want to give continuity towards Ronald Koeman. But this does bring a lot of questions. Like, for example, what could happen to the players? What could happen to the formation onto the next season? Because with the implementation of Wijnaldum, who is soon going to be announced by Barcelona, and with the implementation of Sergio Aguero, who is a number nine that Ronald Koeman greatly did need in the past season, could we actually see Ronald Koeman go for a 4-2-3-1? The only reason why Koeman did not go for a 4-2-3-1 and only used it for about three to four matches, it is because he lacked a central defensive midfielder and he lacked a number nine. Another question is going to be this, how long is he going to be sticking with a 3-5-2? Because now that we have players such as Sergio Aguero, Ansu Fati, Messi, Dembele, Collado, and then a potential player like Memphis Depay, who could also be announced in a couple of hours, when it comes to the 3-5-2 formation, you're only limited to a total of two attackers. And many of these players that Kuman is going to be having in his roster are going to greatly need minutes. And then we can talk about a individual player, Ricky Puj. What is going to happen with this player? Because it is clear that Kuman does not favor Ricky Puj at Barcelona. Could we be seeing Ricky Puj go on a loan to AC Milan, Inter Milan, maybe a team like Leicester City at the EPO? So many questions are arising from Ronald Kuman's continuity and giving him a second season. And this is such a gamble, right? Because I've explained this before in my past videos, because the fact that Juan Laporta is going to be continuing Ronald Kuman, it is a gamble because what if Ronald Koeman does not do well in the second season? Because if he doesn't, the excuses are going to be running out. You were given the tools in order to succeed. We have given you a number nine. We have given you a central defensive midfielder. We have given you more center back options. We have given you more right back options. And the fact that we might potentially hear Ronald Koeman failing in the second season and bring the exact same results, the excuses are going to be gone. And what's most important about this whole thing when it comes to a gamble on continuing Koeman is going to go directly towards Joan Laporta. Many are going to be saying the only reason why Barcelona are not performing at that level onto the next season, it is because Juan Laporta continued Ronald Koeman. So many people are going to be targeting a president such as him. And so it is such a difficult situation because even if Juan Laporta says we're going to take away Ronald Koeman and bring in a brand new coach, many are also going to be saying that why would Juan Laporta take away Ronald Koeman when he wasn't given the correct tools? And that is why I do want many of us to understand Laporta's situation, to understand the type of mess that Joan Laporta is actually in. And it does seem like Laporta is going to be taking that route where he is going to be given Kuman a second season and try to give him the correct tools. And it is not going to stop here. Laporta and Matteo Lamani are going to continue to try and strengthen this squad in order to give the best quality towards this coach. And it says here, according to Sky Sports, negotiations are progressing very positively over the signing of Memphis Depay to Barcelona. The Catalan club considers it a priority. Now, what is the reason on why the Memphis Depay transfer to Barcelona is progressing. It is because Kuman's continuity is becoming more real. This is a player that Kuman greatly does admire. And that is it, right? After this week, I do assume that we are going to be having Wijnaldum and Memphis Depay and with the brand new signings of Emerson, Sergio Guero, and Eric Garcia. I do expect by mid-June to hear news about Ronald Kuman working with Matteo Alemani and Juan Laporta on what players should be leaving this club. He will be making those decisions if Kuman does continue with Barcelona. So what players should find an exit and what players should go on a loan. It's going to be very interesting. I do expect this summer transfer window to be very busy because of the amount of decisions this coach is going to have to take alongside Juan Laporta. But that's going to be it for today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.